here with Nova Clark with the Black Bayou Lake National Wildlife Refuge. And she's here to tell us about a family campfire night and the kids' fishing day set for this weekend. Nova, it's always great to have you because when you're here, it means some fun things are mm -hmm. happening out at Black Bayou. And the good news is the weather is yes. <laughs> getting warm and nice and it stays like savings and it stays light outside longer. Yeah. Great time to go to Black Bayou. It is, definitely. Um, so Friday night, we are having a family campfire program. Nice. So everybody's invited. We're going to do what you do at a, a campfire, uh -huh. have songs, have skits, and have s'mores. Marsh, mar yeah, marshmallows. We have s'mores, <laughs> of course. Um, and I have this great group of students from Texas State University in this week who are doing an alternative spring break at Black uh -huh. Bayou, and they're going to help out with the campfire program. So nice. I'll actually have a crew to like do this stuff, and I won't have to do all the singing. Um, so it should be really fun. And um, so that's going to start at 7:30 because it's not. It doesn't get dark until then. You can't have a campfire when it's like light outside. I know. Yeah, that's a not great time much. to start. Mm -hmm. It starts to get dark. Get there at light so you can find your place, and then yeah. And it's uh, um, right the last day of school before spring break for a lot of kids. So it's a great way to sort of celebrate end of school for a week. Or so. That's going to be a great time. Can kids and parents just show up? Yep, just show up at about 7.30 or so, and we will get started from there. And you guys will be providing the awards? Yes, we will. Oh, that's just worth coming just for the awards. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and when is a Kids Fishing Day? Yes, and we are doing that in conjunction with the Monroe Chapter of CCA Louisiana. Uh -huh. um, and so what we'll do is it's for ages 6 to 12. Um, from 10 to 1, and we will have six different activities that the kids can do, and if they complete all the activities, they become a junior fishing ranger Aww. and get a badge and everything. But we'll be doing actual fishing and then knot tying and all the stuff that goes into fishing. Mm -hmm. um, and then when the kids complete the six activities, they get their badge, and there's also some sort of, there's a few special things that might be happening after as well. But when you, if you come, you find out what those are. Oh, goody. <laughs> um, and there will actually be a chance for them to win a fishing rod to take home with them, too. Now, so. will the refuge provide fishing rods for yes. the fishing we bay? Yes, we will supply all the stuff, the bait. Mm -hmm. You just need to bring your kids and um, come out, and the weather looks like it'll be really nice. Um, and so we'll be doing some fishing, and it's a great way, like, if you're not a fisher person, but your kids are interested in it, it's a great way to be introduced to it, and that's why we're really excited to be um, to be working with the guys from the, the CCA Louisiana because they're like diehard fishermen so that they're great with working with the kids with that. One of, my, one of my best memories is going to one of the fishing days with mm -hmm. my children. We had such a great time. Yeah, and so it, it will just be a lot of fun. And I mean, if you've got a kid who's a little leery about it, I mean, there's a the fishing, but there's also doing fish printing and learning about macro invertebrates. And then the Army Corps of Engineers is also going to be there to do water safety, which is very important for all kids to know oh, as well around absolutely. here. So. Yeah. Good to hear that. And then also, Black Bayou, next month we'll be opening a, a new exhibit. I know yes. it's, is it a secret? It is Can not a talk secret. About it? Okay. <laughs> but um, April 22nd, which is Earth Day, we will be having the grand opening for our brand new alligator exhibit and all the cool stuff that we've done in the Learning Center. So um, we're very excited about it. The tank arrived on Friday oh, all the way from Arizona yeah. on a semi. And so... Um, it's just been a really exciting process to get that done. So everybody's invited for that next month. And of course, we'll publicize that with y'all later too. Now, how big are the alligators in the tank? Uh, they're only a couple of feet right now. And we'll... They'll grow. Now, will we have the opportunity to touch them? Um, no, but you'll have a really good visual of them because uh -huh. it's, it's a full frontal glass. You'll see them underwater and everything. So. Oh, that's going to be very interesting. Yeah, I mean, I already <laughs> it's fun to go out to, yeah. to the refuge. Uh, we've always had a great time, so mm -hmm. the alligators are just going to be an extra addition, yeah. even more fun. It's uh, definitely a gem in our community. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Nova, for coming on the show. Well, thank you for having me. And you can get that information at myarkwoodmiss.com about the campfire and the fishing day as well. Just ahead on Louisiana Living, an ATV driver.